And uh, where else would you buy your chocolate but our very famous uh, Schmidt's Candy Store? And uh, joining us here tonight, and I thank her very much for coming along, is uh, Margie Schmidt from Schmidt's Candy Store. Margie, how are you there? Very well, Ed. How are you? I'm doing. I'm just doing very good. Thank you so much for calling in. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So now I, I'm looking at your website. We're, you, you've been in business for for 85 years. Schmitz has been in business now. That's right. Grandpa started it in 1926. Okay. Right, now, now did did he um, was he born in this country or did he emigrate here? He came here when he was very young, and uh, I think his wife was born here. Grandma. But he brought the business um, in, I think it was an established store. No one seems to really know for maybe two or three years. And then he brought it and built it up. Because back then there was ice cream and a luncheonette type scenario in addition uh-huh. to the chocolate. But all the recipes came over from Germany and all the molds, that kind of thing. So it's 85 years, same family. Wow. Now, now I, I, I was thinking about this. I talked to a few people. Now, I know that Nier's, you know, Nier's Bar, which was just restored, is you know one of the yes, old quite lovely. establishments, and yeah. it looks beautiful. It does. I, I have to, I have to think that um, Schmitz has certainly got to be the oldest business we have on Jamaica Avenue. I believe so. Um, Manadeli is up there, but I believe my father had started before Helmuth. Um, right. And I thought Nier's was around, but I don't know about the same continuous family or ownership. Exactly. That's the thing. So, is, yours has been in the same family for, for all of these years. That's right. So 15 more years, we'll have our centennial celebration. That's wonderful. And you know, Woodhaven is celebrating its 175th anniversary. That's year. right. That's right. And St. So, Thomas so, is doing 100 years. So 100 all of years. these celebrations. And, and you guys are right up there. That's a tremendous uh, tremendous thing. Now, today, when I, I stopped in and talked to you, you were talking about the, the old-fashioned ribbon candy that you guys have, uh, right. uh, have been selling. Yes, at Christmas time, it's a, um, a yuletide treat of, um, again, homemade ingredients and, and hand-pulled. And it might not look all uniform like the ones sold in the supermarkets because it's all handmade and hand-pulled. But it tastes good because of the ingredients in it, the actual essential oils that make the difference. And that's famous at Christmas time for candy canes, ribbon candy, hard candy. So it's very good. Now, all, all your chocolate is made uh, it, right in your store? Yes, we do the molding and the dipping in the back room, which has no heat and it's cold. And I cook mostly everything downstairs. We make our own caramels and marshmallows and the raspberry jelly, which is probably the number one seller now. And it is all cooked downstairs, prepared downstairs, then cut up. And then they come upstairs, the pieces, and then I hand dip them upstairs with the chocolate. And then it goes out into the showcase for sale. So it's all fresh. Every day candy is being made. And now with Valentine's coming, you know, we're at peak production well, mm-hmm. I'm at peak production because it's me. Uh, these are these are very. I guess these are very long days for you then. These are these are long uh-huh. days, but that's when I think July and August. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Now you you grew up uh, you grew up in Woodhaven. I'm assuming, yes, right? Yes, I, I bought the house next door to my parents uh, 20 years ago, so I lived on the same block. Mm-hmm. I walk up the street just like my father did. Just you know, one house further. So I increased my commutation by ten <laughs> percent. That's wonderful, and, and and I guess growing up, you know, growing up as a kid of a candy store, you must have had a lot of friends. We had a lot of friends, and everybody also had to work there. It was much busier years ago. Uh, uh-huh. Everybody, all of my friends, had a job there, and, uh, and we all worked part time for my parents at all the holidays, and uh, having a, treats like that. Well, of course, made me even more friends. My father used mm-hmm. to make the ice cream, so we uh, had soft ice cream when he made ice cream every Wednesday, and we would just come home from school and go right to the store and get soft ice cream, you know, 18% butterfat, serious ice wow. cream. Delicious, <laughs> so, yes. 
Now, 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 you used to have a, a fountain service in there, correct? Thank you. Right. Uh, we stopped that about 30 years ago. I was uh, a teenager. My father had arthritis, and the doctor said, you know, the cold was worse for him with the ice cream. So mm-hmm. then my parents made the decision to stop the ice cream, because even then, 30, 35 years ago, uh, they couldn't compete with Bohack and A&P selling uh, ice cream for a dollar or half, you know, half gallon. Mm-hmm. When when he stopped, a double cone was thirty five cents. Wow! And, and a serious, um, a serious double cone. <laughs> so. Well, I tell you, you know what I have. What I, I I have to personally thank you for is that when when I was young and, and yeah, I grew up right across Jamaica Avenue, just down the block, and uh, I I was one of those kids that was always oh, always getting nauseous and sick, and, and my mom used to buy uh, Coke syrup. Coke syrup, yep. In place to, to settle my stomach. That was, uh, and I remember she used to come back. I seem to recall. I think it was almost like in. I, I'm picturing almost like little Chinese little Chinese food cartons or something. They were like some kind of cardboard cartons she used to bring it yeah. back in. Yeah, my father would bring that home for us also when we had upset <laughs> stomach. And the flatter the better. You would leave it out. Mm-hmm. And and uh, then inhale it. Uh, you know, swallow it, and supposedly it was the cure. Now, he had you. that because of the fountain service. It worked very nicely. Uh, it was a great. That was a great. Those were great times. Listen. It's yeah, but my memories fun. are of having maltins and banana splits. Uh, I don't think fondly about being sick. <laughs> no. So no, now, no. now I noticed you, you have we have the the, the Schmidt's uh, website, and uh, you know a, a while back I had, I had posted the, the link to your website on Facebook, and a lot of people hadn't weren't aware of it. And and they were excited. And the the big thing, and I think that people have to realize, because we get a lot of uh, former residents of Woodhaven who, who t- tune into our site and tune into our show, they can order uh, Schmidt's candy. And and with Valentine's Day coming up, it's a good thing to know they can order it either online or calling the store. Correct? Absolutely. We've been shipping. We accept all the major credit cards, and now we are online. But any time they want to call, of course, we can accommodate them that way too. And, and where's the uh, where's the furthest you've ever shipped to to a uh, former resident of Woodhaven? Uh, basically, the fifty states. Um, I just did a shipment today to Arizona, and then there was a woman who lived in Arizona, and her elderly father, who was in his nineties, is in a nursing home in Connecticut, and she was thrilled to see we were still around, having found us on the web, and I sent the candy, and the father got it the next day, and. She called incredulously and said he loved it. It was great, but I hadn't even billed her yet. And I said, well, I'll get to that. And she <laughs> couldn't believe that that's how we ran the store. I said, uh, you're going to pay for your father's candy. I know you are, but I wanted right. him to get the candy for Christmas. But, uh, yeah, basically the 50 states I stay with. I haven't done any international, and then Mexico gets into hotter weather. So Right. It's, but all those old Woodhavenites can find us. They remember 718, or they remember that it's Jamaica Avenue, and then they could find us with or without the web. Uh, that, that's that's terrific. So you know we're gonna we're gonna uh, you know put this out there for for our uh, great thank for you. our members to see, and, and they can they can call you at uh, 718. That's uh, I have your number here on, on the web. Is it the store number? Or, uh, yes, the store 846-9326. For a nice step back in time and to score some brownie points at Valentine's, you get her a nice fresh Schmitz box of chocolate, or you go with and buy Russell Stover and see what happens. Well, listen, I, I thank you very much for calling. Well, I really thank you for it. your time. And uh, we'll be seeing you real soon. I, I bought my wife some uh, chocolate hearts uh, when I was in today. and she, Oh, uh, very good. The milk chocolate or the dark? Uh, it was the dark. The dark. Well, now the dark is considered healthy for us, so... We're thinking of changing our name to Schmidt's Health Food Store. If you buy a dark chocolate <laughs> orange peel or cherry or dark craisin, then you're all healthy. So come on down. It tastes good, and then you'll feel better, too. <laughs> Thanks very much, Marjorie. Great. Thanks for your time, Ed. Thank Have you, a good Jay. night. Keep on. You, too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, it's Margie Schmidt. Thank you, uh, Thank you Margie, for, uh, for, for calling in. That was great. I tell you, what a great